Uh, I can only imagine what it would be like to be on board. This must be incredibly exciting for the crew. We're about two minutes out now, and once we get to the 30-second point, Spaceship Unity is going to arm the launch pylon. And then once we get to that designated point, the mothership pilots are actually the ones that engage the release, setting Unity free. So we have actions for both the mothership pilots and the spaceship pilots, so they're in coordination, and all agree on the launch. Yeah, it's a hugely exciting and focused moment right now. Definitely. One minute and 30 seconds. The spaceship pilots are also going to push the stick all the way forward to prepare for release. And things happen pretty quickly after the release. So the pilots are going to light the rocket motor and they're going to accelerate in level flight until they reach Mach 1, at which point they'll start what we call the gamma turn, where we turn directly up and head to space. One minute to release now. It's getting real. <laughs> So exciting. Forty five seconds. Thirty seconds, the Spaceship Unity pilots are arming the launch pylon now. We are armed for release. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Five, three, two, one, release, release, release. Clean release. Ignition. Good rocket motor burn. There's Mach 1 trimming now. Trim complete. Unity is pointed directly up and heading to space. Things are looking great. We are 25 seconds into the burn now, approaching Mach 2. 30 seconds, Mach 2. Everything's looking really good and stable. 40 seconds. 45 seconds. Fifty seconds approaching Mach 3. There's Mach 3. And 60 seconds, and that is a full duration burn, folks. We are headed to space. And the passengers in the back have been cleared to unstrap. Our predicted apogee is 279,000 feet and climbing. The pilots are now unlocking the feather, and um, as soon as they do that, it's going to initiate a backflip for Spaceship Unity. This is normal. We want those windows pointed down towards the Earth to maximize that incredible view. So Feather is coming up now, and the pilots are also enabling the RCS, or Reaction Control System, which is what they'll use to control the attitude of the vehicle while we're outside the atmosphere. All right, Feather is all the way up. We are at about 250,000 feet now and climbing. As soon as we cross the boundary to space, we'll hear a word from our founder, Sir Richard Branson. Welcome to space, Unity 22. So it doesn't sound like we're receiving the audio over the broadcast, but I know Richard is saying something inspirational, as he always does. Fortunately, we have a lot of cameras. Uh, I've done some ridiculous things in my lifetime. Mark, well, really, really, really ridiculous. I've done some ridiculous things in my lifetime. Mark, well, really, really, really ridiculous. I've 
I just can't wait for well, it is one day built to experience it. It's a complete experience for a lifetime. And now I'm looking down at a beautiful spaceport. Uh, congratulations to everybody for uh, for creating such a beautiful, beautiful place. Congratulations to all our wonderful team at Virgin Galactic for 17 years of hard, hard work to get us this far. All right, so I'm so happy we could catch a little part of that. It seems like there's a little bit of a delay in the transmission there. It does have a long way to travel. Um, but you could tell by the smiles on their faces, they just had the ride of their lives. We are so excited for them to land and party the rest of the day with, like astronauts, in the typical Virgin fashion. So we are at 22,000 feet now and descending. And as I mentioned earlier, Unity is a glider at this point. Um, so the pilots right now are discussing their energy management plan. And pretty shortly here, they'll be meeting up with our Chase aircraft with Jamil and Patrick to get some really cool visuals of Spaceship Unity. Now, as the crew and spaceship make their way across the desert, they are gliding over one of the most remarkable landscapes in the United States and the largest desert in North America, the Chihuahuan Desert. The area around Spaceport includes more than 6,000 square miles of restricted airspace and high desert, which is one of the reasons it was built here. And of course, our future astronauts will be able to take in so much of that natural beauty and, you know, of course, we also have White Sands nearby. White Sands National Park is just to our east. It's visible right over the Black Range Mountains. White Sands, of course, has been the backdrop for so many films, commercials, and music videos. And it's known for having the largest gypsum dune field on the planet. Khalid's music. So also nearby is the Oregon Mountain Desert Peaks National Monument, and that's nearly half a million acres of protected land that our guest families will be able to experience. And even though temperatures can hit the triple digits in the summer here, we also have cool desert days. And fortunately, our pilots and crew can stay comfortable thanks to their spacesuit cone as we also celebrate our new home. Oh, you can see the chase in the background there outside of Richard's window. The pilots are coordinating with Chase now and discussing their energy management plan. They're at about 9,500 feet in altitude, and the runway out here at Spaceport America is around 4,600 feet in altitude. All right, we have three landing gear down and locked. Now the pilots are gonna be landing on runway three, four today. So that's coming from the south and towards the north for those of you on site watching. And for the non-pilots tuning in, those numbers represent the first two numbers of the magnetic heading of the runway. So for example, three, four is 340 degrees on your compass. We are just about a thousand feet above the field now and on final. 500 feet above the runway, 300 feet. Over the threshold. Main gear touchdown. And we're gonna hold it just like this for a minute before bringing the nose down. Can see they're already celebrating inside there. And the nose is coming down now. Nose gear touchdown. And braking. Look at 
that incredible drone footage here as we come in. And there is full stop. All right. A perfect landing. Virgin Galactic has just broken through the commercial space from our operational home base, Spaceport America. A beautiful day of flight. What a moment. Congratulations to everybody on board and, of course, our very own Spaceship Unity who returned to space today. And, of course, we also saw beautiful flying from our EVE crew, CJ and Kelly, and brilliant work by our chase pilots, Jamil and Patrick, all of whom are still in the air right now. Great job to you all. Ladies and gentlemen, there it is. More than half a century since the world rejoiced when humans first achieved space.